All right, this support video is for the special effects, and I already went ahead and added my title um, and created my project in the right place. Um, the same process you did last time, so if you don't remember how to do it, go watch how to create a new project and how to make the folder like like last time. Okay, we don't need, we're, I'm going to delete a couple of these layers. We do not need, so I right click on them, go to delete track. We don't need that, we don't need that. Um, we don't need voice. Um, music I can leave in because that can be my music. We don't, and uh, we don't need that. So we've got three tracks, okay? Um, and for this one, you got to get some video. You can use the video you previously shot. Otherwise, I've got some sample videos in Drive 2, okay? So grab something, okay? And something to work with, all right? And I'm going to then split these up into eight sections because you need eight types of special effects okay check out the score sheet it's right there on the directions um, you're gonna use uh, invert cookie cutter mirror and black and white those are the ones I want you to use and then you're gonna do four of your own choice okay and then you're gonna make a, an AVI video when you're done okay so check this out it's the scoring um, we're gonna do the text media a little bit differently this time when we identify our clips so um, once again, we'll do about five seconds worth of clips. This is a music video I found, I recorded off TV. So, um, so let me look at that. And I, I'm not going to get exact here. So, right now, this is five seconds long. So, roughly 10 seconds. I'll go to, okay, press S. And then you can kind of just eyeball it. That's about that big. So, that looks good. That looks good. Zoom out a little bit. Where am I at here? That's a little too big. That's okay though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. Okay. And then I don't need the rest of this. All right. So we got our video um, set up, and this time our text media I want to play within the video okay like hidden not hidden but playing at the bottom and you'll see here in a second so let's add that first one called invert so I have to select this clip okay you can tell it's selected um, actually first let's add our text media uh, so I go to insert text media and the first one is invert so I'm going to type invert Okay, looks good, nothing special. Um, and I can't remember how it's set up by default. Um, your background color, you might have a background color like this. I can't remember quite exactly. So it might look like this. This isn't what we want, okay, because this, these are layers. So this plays over the top of the clip, okay? And I wouldn't even be able to see my clip at all. So what I need to do is I need to go in here and under properties, I'm, this is the transparency, they call it alpha. Okay, I want my alpha at zero because if you can see that, if you're watching up here, um, it makes it completely see-through then because I want my background see-through except for the text. Okay, so this looks great. Then I go to placement and I want it to play at the bottom of the clip. So somewhere right down there. Bo bottom centered is good and so that, that actually looks really good. Okay, so that's, that's how to set up your text media for these. Just like the other one, what I would do is, I might have to zoom in a little bit here, because these might, I didn't do these exact sizes, so I can stretch it out so it plays for the entire clip. Now I'm going to copy that and do it again. Okay, once again, it's not quite as big as it should be. And do that for, I'm just going to do the first four, because that's those are required clips. Okay, then you have to know how to zoom in and zoom out here. This will really help. Um, so this one looks good. This one looks good, maybe. Zoom in some more. Okay, this one's a little too long, so I'm going to bump this one back down. And stretch it out. And this one, I think, is a little bit too long. There we go. You want to make sure the snap is turned on. Um, uh, it's it's here somewhere. I don't want to take all the time finding. If yours isn't turned on, let me know. I can help you out with that. Okay, so now I got my four clips. 
but they all say invert. So I maybe want to go ahead and do what clips they're really supposed to be. So instead of invert, this one's supposed to be cookie cutter. Okay, and if it's too big, um, drop it down to size. Okay, this one's too big. So this one I have to make a little smaller. Instead of 72, maybe uh, 50. Looks better, nice, that looks sloppy. Okay, um, looks good, and if, if you want, you can put it down at the bottom. It's not a big deal, like way at the bottom, just don't drag it off your screen. Okay, so enough of that. I don't need to show how to do every single one because you should, you should figure it out. Then we apply our special effects here. So um, if it's this little key right here is special effects. We have to have this clip selected. All right, so I click on special effects, and the first one I want to add is called invert. Sony invert. We click add, click OK, and then it's going to ask me how much invert we want. Right now, if it's zero, it's not going to be inverting the colors at all. So I would say we want 100% or up to one because otherwise it just looks kind of stupid. So if we go to 100% at invert, it inverts our colors completely. That makes this a little hard to see. I'm not really worried about that. And good, that one's done. Okay, next is cookie cutter. Um, we go and find cookie cutter, Sony cookie cutter. Okay, and this one you can get a little more creative with if you want. Oops, don't need that twice. Um, you pick out a shape. Oops. So I'm gonna choose the diamond, okay? And then all kinds of stuff you can do here. Um, this is kind of hard because it's uh, it's already really dark, but um, what did I want here? There we go. Okay, there we go. So if it's the whole thing, you can't see anything, but if I make this a little smaller, you can see that diamond. Okay, so it's going to be cut out, and you can see through where the diamond is. And I can move this around, too. Um, that looks good. Okay, now when we watch this part of that video, wherever the diamond cookie cutout is, that's where it's going to be, okay? And I would want to go back, and, and this one says cookie cutter, okay? So that's two done. Next one is mirror effect. So Sony mirror. Okay, and... By default, it just flips it um, vertically. So I see how it's mirrored, okay? And I can change this however I want. Okay, I mean, you could put it back to normal, or I guess reverse, okay? And you can mirror that clip however you want. I don't care. So check that out. And then it's a mirrored. Okay, that's the effect. And the last one I want you to do is called black and white. So, um, Sony black and white, click add, okay, and then if you leave this at zero, it's not going to make it black and white at all, so I would go the whole whole way, okay, or if you want to leave some partial color, I would, or you could, but, you know, it's called black and white for a reason, so if we put it black and white, then now I play this clip, and the whole thing is black and white, okay, so that's the four I want you to do. Then you, I want you to play around with some different ones and come up with them on your own. Okay. Make sure you label them though. I just labeled these first two just to save a little time on this video. Then we're going to make the video um, as an AVI file exactly how we did in the last one. And then that, that wraps this one up.